Welcome and study with Tanzania Institute of Education. Imagine you only had a piece of chalk, a length of string and a ruler and you needed to draw geometrical objects accurately. Would you be able to? These are pretty much what we use when we have to do constructions in geometry. Constructions use geometric facts to draw lines, angles and shapes accurately and, as far as possible, are based on geometry facts rather than on measurement and can be very accurate if you work carefully. In pure constructions, we use only a straight edge, a set of compasses and a pencil. However, there will be cases where you need to use a protractor if there is no other way of constructing an angle. Drawing a straight line of exactly 5.5 centimeters. Draw a line of any length. Mark your starting point on line and name it as A. Open the compasses to measure the length of the line segment by placing the pointer on the zero mark of the ruler and the pencil point on the 5.5 cm mark. Place the pointer of the compasses on point A and draw an arc on the line. Mark the point of intersection B. AB is the required line segment of length 5.5 cm. Be sure to leave the construction arcs on your construction to show how you did it and mark the measurements on your construction. Constructing a triangle with given side lengths of 6 cm, 5 cm and 4 cm. Remember, it's easiest to choose the longest side as the base of the triangle, so start by constructing a line of 6 cm. Label the endpoints A and B. Also label the lines as you draw them. Open the compasses to a radius of 5 cm. Place the compass point at point A and draw an arc above the line. Open the compasses to a radius of 4 cm. Move the compass point to point B and draw an arc above it. Join the endpoints of the line to the point of intersection of the arc. Constructing a triangle with one length of 8 cm and two angles, 55 degrees and 70 degrees, given. You'll need a protractor for this. Construct an 8 cm line. Label one endpoint A and the other B. Place the center of the protractor at point A, taking care to line it up at zero degrees. Measure an angle of 55 degrees and mark it with a dot. Join point A to the dot with a ruler. Move the protractor to point B. Measure an angle of 70 degrees and mark the angle with a dot. Join point B to the dot with a ruler. OK, let's move on. The first construction we're going to learn is how to bisect a given line segment. Let's see how to do this with line segment AB. Step 1. Place the compass point at point A of the line segment AB. Step 2. Set the compass to slightly longer than half the length of the line segment. Then, with the compass point at the first endpoint, draw an arc above the line segment and another arc below, with the compass fixed at the same length. Step 3. Keep the compass set to exactly the same width, but this time with the point of the compass on point B. Again, draw an arc above and below the line segment. These arcs should intersect your first pair of arcs. Step 4. Place a ruler or straight edge along the two points of intersection and draw a line through these two points. This line segment, which we label CE, bisects AB, so AD is equal to DB. CE is also perpendicular to AB. Notice that we have constructed four congruent triangles in this construction. The lengths AC, BC, AE and BE are all equal because they are equal to the radius of the compasses at the same setting. In triangles ADC and BDC, we know that AD equals BD because we bisected AB by construction. AC equals BC by construction and CD is a common side. From this, it follows that angles ADC and BDC are right angles, as they are equal and adjacent to each other on a straight line. From here, we can also prove that all triangles are congruent. Notice that CBEA is a rhombus with all sides equal. We know that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. 
An important construction to know, which is used as the basis for other constructions, is the construction of the bisector of a given angle. If we are given the angle ABC, step 1. Set your compasses to a length about half the length of the arms of the angle. Place the compass point at the vertex of the angle, which is point B. Step 2. Draw an arc that intersects with both arms of the angle. Step 3. Keep the compass set to exactly the same width. Place the point of the compass at the point where the arc intersects AB and draw an arc between AB and BC. Now repeat this from the point where the original arc intersects BC. The two arcs intersect at a point between AB and BC. Step 4. Place your ruler edge along the vertex B and the point of intersection of the arcs and draw a line through these two points. We'll call this line BD. This line segment BD bisects angle ABC. So angle ABD will be equal to angle DBC. Try this construction and measure the angles to check how accurate you are. If you have a point X on a line YZ, you can construct the perpendicular by following these steps. Step 1. Label the point. Step 2. With the compass point placed at point X, draw an arc on either side of X on the line. Step 3. Now make the compass wider and place the point on the intersection of the first arc with the line. Draw an arc above X. Do the same with the other intersection so the arcs intersect above X. Step 4. Join point X to the intersection of the arcs. This construction works because we have constructed two congruent triangles. Tx is equal to xu because we set the compass to the same radius and used x as the center to draw the arcs here. Notice that we created the perpendicular line by first making a line segment on yz and bisecting it. If you have a line yz and a point x, you would construct the perpendicular from x to the line as follows. Step 1. Label the line and the point. Step 2. With the compass pointed x and the compass set to the same width, draw two arcs on yz. Step 3. Now put the pointer of the compass at y and draw an arc below the line yz between y and z. Then, keeping the compass at the same width, construct another arc to intersect the first. Step 4. Join point x to the intersection of the arcs. Notice that we created the perpendicular line by first making a line segment on yz and bisecting it. Let's have a look at another method for constructing a right angle. This is based on a theorem from circle geometry, that the angle in a semicircle is a right angle. In other words, if the diameter of a circle subtends an angle at any point on the circumference, this will be a right angle. To construct an angle with a measurement of 90 degrees, follow these steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment AB of any length. This will become one arm of the angle and the right angle will have A as its vertex. Step 2. Mark a point above AB. Its exact position is not important. Label it D. Step 3. Set the compasses on point D and set their width to the endpoint A. Draw circle with center D and the radius DA. The circle intersects AB at C. Step 4. Draw a diameter CE through center D. Step 5. Draw a line through E and A. The angle EAC is a 90 degree angle. To construct an angle with a measurement of 60 degrees, follow these steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment of any length. This will become one side of the angle. Label the line segment AB. A will be the vertex of the angle. Step 2. Set the compasses on A and set its width to a convenient length, perhaps about half the length of AB. Step 3. Draw an arc across AB stretching above the point A. Step 4. Keeping the compass width exactly the same, place the compass point to the intersection of the arc and AB and draw an arc that crosses the first one. Step 5. Draw a line from A through the intersection of the two arcs. To construct an angle with a measurement of 45 degrees, follow these steps. Step 1. Draw a line segment of any length. This will become one side of the angle. Label the line segment AB. The point A will be the vertex of the angle. Set the compass width to just over half the length of the line segment AB. The next couple of steps are the same as for constructing a perpendicular bisector. Step 2. With the compass point on A, draw two arcs above and below the line. Then place the point at B and draw arcs above and below the line to cross the first pair of arcs. Step 3. Draw a line through the points where the pairs of arcs intersect. This line is perpendicular to AB and it also bisects it. 
label the point of intersection C. Step 4. With the compass point on C, set its width to CA. Draw an arc to intersect the perpendicular, creating the point D. Step 5. Draw a line through A and D. The angle DAB has an angle of 45 degrees. Notice that you have constructed a triangle DAC, which is a right-angled isosceles triangle. Angles D and A are each equal to 45 degrees and angle C is a right angle. Let's construct an equilateral triangle. Step 1. Start with a straight line and mark a point A on it. Step 2. Set the compasses to the length of the side of the equilateral triangle that you want and draw an arc through the line, making it extend above the line. Mark the intersection at the line segment B. Step 3. Keeping the compass set to the length of the side of the equilateral triangle, place its point on B and draw an arc to intersect the first arc. Mark the point of intersection C. Step 4. Draw a straight line through A and C and another straight line through B and C. Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle.